Hello, and welcome to Marfolio Trace. If you're a landscape designer and want to make gorgeous site plans, smart diagrams, scaled maps, or inspiring design sketches, we have amazing news. Trace is the best app for landscape design, and in this video, we'll go through five features that are specifically designed for landscape design sketching. Plus, stick around at the end for a brand new bonus feature. Let's get started. So we're looking at this gorgeous landscape site plan by Barbara Dokshina, a landscape designer. And one of the things that really stands out about this amazing sketch made in Trace is the beautiful color palette that it is made up with. And all of your color palettes are located right here. If you tap this button and you'll see there are a whole bunch of palettes that are specifically designed for landscape design. You can see there are some by amazing artists like Barbara herself, as well as other palettes by Bolt, some sustainable design and illustration palettes that can also be used to create stunning landscape design drawings. In landscape design, it's super important to always know the areas that you're working with, whether it's a planting plan, a site plan, you need to know the paths or the area of a body of water or pool, you need to know what that area is. And in Trace, it is super easy to calculate areas. All you have to do is tap the Smart Fill tool, which is located here. Once you tap that, you'll see that a target comes up and you can simply place that target inside the region that you want. And no matter what shape it is, it'll fill that region perfectly. And you'll see also that an area is being given for that region that you have filled. All you have to do is tap the X squared. And now you have an area marker that is in place um, and is giving you the exact area for the region that you are locating. Not only can you calculate the areas on your drawing as you are sketching and working, you can also use that same tool to add hatches and patterns, whether it's for stone tiles, for brick walls, wood decks, or even gravel patterns. Any of those things can be instantly added to your drawing. All you have to do is tap the Smart Hatch button again, move your target into the area that you want to fill. Sometimes you might need to adjust the tolerance a bit to make sure that you're filling the entire region. And you can change the color to maybe black in this case. And to access your hatches, all you have to do is tap this button up here, go to landscape, and there are a ton of pre-designated landscape design patterns, your line hatches, your material textures. Maybe for this one, we want to add in a brick texture. Um, and we can add this really nice multi sized square. What I'll also do is invert that and I will reduce the opacity of it so it kind of blends into the background a little bit. And now all I have to do is hit the paint bucket icon and I have applied that texture, that hatch pattern right onto my drawing and I am all set and ready to go. Another feature that is really great and super helpful for landscape designing is the stencils. Now in Trace, your stencils are all located in this little tree icon here. And what I'll do is move my stencil over to the side. And if you tap the gear, your stencil library will pull up and you'll see that there are not only figures and people and all sorts of things, there's also trees and elevation and in plan and plants in elevation and plan that can be really easy to add into your drawing. Now we'll pick these stencils with this beautiful stencil by Barbara again, but there are all sorts of trees and shrubs. There's some deck furniture and rocks, a north arrow. For now, we'll just select this tree and all you have to do when you are working with a stencil is pick a brush that is a texture. So maybe the charcoal and we'll select a color. In this case, we want black, so we'll pick black and we'll pick a larger brush to help fill that full region. And all we have to do is fill in the stencil and you can see that we get the texture of the charcoal and we get a beautiful stencil that is in the shape of the tree. And if we look 
turn down the opacity of this layer, you'll see that we're already in a drawing. And all you have to do now is place this tree exactly where you want it. And we can fill it in. We can use our, our pencil, like I said before. The other thing that you can do is you can simply hit this paint bucket icon and it will fully fill in your stencil with the color that you have selected. And just like that, we've instantly added a tree into our site plan and we are ready to continue on the drawing. The last tool in Trace that has been a huge game changer for landscape designers is the ability to bring in a map to scale and start sketching right on top of it. Now from the home screen, all you have to do is hit your maps button. That will bring up your map. You can either type in an address up here or you can simply zoom in to whatever area that you are drawing and start sketching. Hit the green check and you will be able to begin drawing a scale drawing on top of a map. Now, I have a project already started here by a great designer in France, Dimitri, and you can see that he has created this screenshot of the area that he's creating this project, and right on top of it, he is able to start drawing. If you bring in your ruler, you'll see that it's already to scale. So we have about 15 meters here for this area of the site plan that he's drawing, and the rest of it is filled in perfectly ready to go just by creating a map project inside Trace. Now for the bonus feature that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. In Trace, there is an amazing tool to help you draw smooth lines. So obviously when you're drawing on glass, sometimes it can be a little tricky to create perfectly smooth lines in Trace and in any drawing app. In Trace, to smooth your lines, all you have to do is press these three buttons here you can change your smoothness and check out how it's adjusting the line smoothness of this example line up here. And you can even test it out above to test out how much smoothness you might like for your drawing by doing a test here. Maybe I'll go a little smoother to help me get a really nice smooth line. I like how that feels. And so now when you're drawing topography or curved pools or any sort of landscape that has a bit of curve to it, you can get perfect lines that are perfectly smooth even if your hand jitters a bit or as it might slip around on the, the glass surface, this adjustment allows you to create perfectly smooth curves just like that inside of Trace by adjusting the smoothness of your brush. We hope you enjoyed these amazing features specifically designed for landscape designers inside Morfolio Trace. If you want to learn more about these incredible features highlighted in this video, you can check the description below for links to other more in-depth tutorials. We also would love to see what you created in the app. And if you share your drawings on Instagram, be sure to tag Morfolio Trace so we can see and feature your work. We can't wait to see what you create. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos. Trace.